Okay, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through on how to set up your profile and also how to set up your branding on the back end if you choose to, to put your business's color scheme and logo and contact information and, and really just brand the entire system. So the first step, once you log in, you're gonna to wanna to click on your profile. So you're gonna click here and go to edit profile. Once you come here, these first few settings here, username is the email you signed up with. Uh, it's important that your username is an email because that's where all your notifications are gonna go or any important information about the system. Also first name, last name. Uh, this is important to make sure you have first name and last name with everybody you set up in the system. There's a lot of little components such as our voice system that use your first name and last name for um, setting up your endpoints and things like that. Profile image, this is gonna show up on all your comments. So let me just go ahead and grab a profile image. One thing about our file manager, right? So here you hit upload, you're gonna go find your photo or file or whatever, and that's gonna pull into this section here. And you do have to select it and then hit choose, and then that'll allow it to come in here. And we have a lot of different options such as editing and rename and then copying and things like that. And you can play around with this or watch the video specifically to this file manager, but just select it and then hit choose, and then that'll show up in your profile here. One thing, anything that you save on your profile, you do have to log back out and log back in for the changes to, to be applied. So in this case, the profile hasn't been applied yet because I haven't logged in and logged back out. Uh, profile info, this is your personal information, but one important factor is your time zone. Make sure you set your time zone or it'll always be at uh, Central Standard Time. That's for everything when it comes to like your reporting, your cadences, your email campaigns, SMS campaigns, your lead timelines, everything is dictated by this time zone. All these other fields, these are fields that you can actually personalize the back office, personalize your email templates, personalize whatever you want. Um, you can use these tags for these profiles. So as you begin, begin adding users and they put their information in, you can have templates that you're personalizing with and I have videos to cover that but this is where we're pulling from your profile information here. You can also create as many custom profile uh, fields and groupings as you like, and there's videos that cover that. So now that you have your profile set up, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is come in and set up your branding for your business. So here you'll come over under controls, system, and branding. And here you have a ton of different options to brand your system with. The most important are gonna be your logos um, and then also your portal color. If you like the colors that the system has by default, you can do that. Um, all this information here is what's going to be provided on your, you know, your proposals, any illegal information from, you know, privacy policy, things like that it is pulling from this brand section here. So make sure you fill this out. And I have a video that I'm covering in the next step on how to add the domain. So for this one, it's more or less just the branding colors, the logos, um, and some of these options down here. So I have a few color options. You can click right here. This is the main portal color. This is on the gradient side. It's gonna be your left-hand side down to your right side is how the gradient works. But the main portal color will control all your buttons and things like that. So you can click here and then just select a color. Or if you have a color code that you wanna throw in, you can do that too. And I already have two that I've picked out. And this, you don't have to log back in, log back in, or log back out to, to see the changes. You can just hit refresh, and so you can see that changes this. Um, here, this color scheme here, you can change this. However, you will need a little bit of CSS um, code to use. Um, you know, if you know anything about CSS and how you can do it, and inspect element and things like that, or you can get with support, we actually have some CSS that you can override with. But you can put any CSS that you want into the system and it'll override. So you can manipulate the entire design if you're you know, well-versed in CSS. And in this case, um, I have some CSS that I prepared. So I'm gonna drop that in there and just hit refresh. And so now I just had a little more control over here because of um, just wanted some more branding over here um, with, with the platform. So login URL or logo, this is the logo that you would have um, with your own personalized login screen. Um, portal logo is gonna be the logo that shows up here. CRM logo is a logo that appears on your proposals and different notifications that go out. And then the app icon, you have an option over here. When you click this button and then move your mouse away, 
this minimizes this sidebar over here if you have a larger screen and you want more real estate you can always re-enable it by just clicking here however when it's minimized like this there's a little app icon that shows up here that's what this app icon is it also shows up as your uh, fave icon so I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable that and I am going to upload my portal logo so uh, again upload here uh, find your file and then select it in this case I'm gonna grab the white one and hit refresh and there's my logo so if I minimize this no app icon so let me add the app icon grab that and so now I have my app icon I might as well just put in my CRM logos and my login logo so that's it um, you know I can come in here and, and fill out oops all this information put your address city state which is important again for some of the branding components out there so just make sure you fill all this out and let me hit refresh and there you go I have my app icon and I also have my logo so again the CSS is going to override our system CSS so you can design this however you like you know if you have CSS capabilities and if you have any embed scripts you may want to put your own chat system in here you may have some additional tracking stuff that you want to put in here Whatever you want to put in, you can add additional scripts inside of our platform and you can just drop them in right here. So uh, the next video, I'll cover how to add your domain and where to log in and all of that good stuff.